Hello my dear friends, I hope you're doing super duper wonderful and in today's video I'll show you how I've made these 5 beautiful PowerPoint slides in 10 minutes. And I want to say super huge thanks to Lewis for inspiring today's video. Last week Lewis posted a video showing how he has created 5 awesome slides in just 10 minutes, so that's basically 2 minutes per slide, and what's awesome is that Lewis invited me, slide skills and everyone else to try it out as well. So here it goes, my 5 slides in 10 minutes, let's go! And before we jump into the action, let me show you how I have customized the quick access toolbar. And over here you can see all of the commands that I have added into the quick access toolbar, and hopefully all of these commands will help me speed up my workflow. And now if I would just hold down the alt key as you can see these little numbers light up, and I can just quickly hit alt 2 to open up these stack photos. So that's super duper awesome. And now in the same way I can quickly use the rest of the commands in my quick access toolbar. So let's just select this shape, let's hit Alt 4 and this way I can quickly open up the format shape pane. That's beautiful. So hopefully all of these commands will help me out when designing all of these slides in just 10 minutes. So let me just start the timer here at the top right corner of the screen and let's go. Ok my dear friends, so let's jump into the slide master view and first of all let's pick a new color palette, for example this one, and let's pick a new font pair, for example darker grotesque. That's looking beautiful, let's pick a blank slide layout, ok, and now let's just find a beautiful stack photo that we could use as our background, for example this one, ok. Let's make sure that we crop this photo to the aspect ratio of our slide, let's resize it so that it fills the whole slide, and now let's just make this photo darker, minus 50% for the brightness slider. And now let's insert a beautiful slide title, let's make sure that we're typing in white so that we can see what we're writing, and now let's just write, now you are a pro gamer, so let's just say this slide is devoted to gamers. Ok, next let me increase the font size of this text box, so let's make sure that the whole text is selected and let's just use 80 for example, that is beautiful. So for the font I'm using darker grotesque semi bold, and now let's adjust that line spacing, so I'm choosing multiple 0.6, and now this slide title is looking beautiful, let's bring it upwards, that's nice. And now let's just quickly insert and create a simple logo, so I'm just using a rounded rectangle, let's just type in logo inside, and now once again I'm choosing darker grotesque semi bold for my font, ok. And now let's jump into the format shape, let's make sure that this logo is fully transparent, and let's make sure it has a line, white line of one point width, that's beautiful. And next my friends, let's just quickly insert a 3D model, let's search for a controller, here it is, let's pick the dark one. Ok, let's just bring it downwards a little bit, let's choose uh, this preset, ok. And next let's just quickly add a swing 3D animation to this controller, ok. For the intensity I'm choosing strong, let's make sure it starts with previous, duration 3 seconds. That's looking beautiful and let me just quickly bring all of these elements a little bit upwards, just like that, so that everything is looking well balanced. Nice. Ok my friends, let's continue with the second slide, and for this slide let's insert a full screen video, let's search for a dark looping abstract video, I think this one will do just fine, let's click insert to insert it, ok it covers the whole slide, that's beautiful, and now we can just copy the logo and the slide title from the previous slide to save some time, and now for this slide title let's actually align it to the left, ok let's decrease the font size, and now let me just open up one of the PowerPoint templates and let's just copy a couple lines of text. Ok, so here it is, let's just copy a little bit of text that we can use on our slide, ok, let's just paste it over here, let's make sure that we're using the same formatting, that's beautiful, ok, so let's just make sure that this passage of text is nicely aligned in the center of the slide, that's beautiful, and the slide design would work really well with a quote, so if you have some beautiful or important words, you can insert them into this text box. And next my friends, let's insert a little photo just below the passage of this text, so let's say we would like to give credit to whoever has written this quote or said this quote, so we can insert a portrait photo, for example this one, and next we'll add a little text box as well. So first of all let's make sure that we crop this photo to aspect ratio one by one, and next let's crop it to a circle, and now let's just resize this photo while holding down the shift key, ok? And now let's just create a little text box just below. We can hold down the control key to make a quick copy and let's just type in name, surname, and a job title, for example CEO. And now let me just quickly jump into the text box options, let's make sure there's no wrapping. And now let's just decrease the size of this text box, let's use 14, and for the font I'm using darker grotesque medium. And now for the line spacing I'm using 0.8, ok, looking beautiful. And now let's just make sure that we align this little text box together with this little beautiful 
portrait photo and let's just make sure that all of these elements are nicely positioned in the middle of the slide. We can even check it out on the full screen, looking beautiful. Ok my friends, let's keep on going, slide number 3. Ok my friends, and for this slide I would like to use a glass morphic effect, so first of all let's just find a nice beautiful photo that we could use, for example this late office working photo. Let's make sure that we covered the whole slide, that's beautiful. Now let's just make a quick copy, and for this copy let's just add a maximum blur, ok. And now let's just uh, copy this fully blurred photo, let's just hit Ctrl C, let's delete the photo. And now let's make sure that we paste that blurred photo as the slide background, just like that. And let's make sure that the original photo is nicely sitting in the center of the slide. And let's insert a huge circle, let's position it to the left side. And for the fill, let's use slide background fill, that's beautiful. Let's make sure there's no line. And now let's just add a couple of elements and to save some time we can just copy these guys, let's paste them over here. Let's bring the logo to the left and let's just bring this slide title to the left as well. Let's make sure that the text is aligned to the left, just like that, and let's just type in our mission. That's beautiful. And this time, my friends, we can use the lorem ipsum formula. So first of all, let me just make this paragraph smaller. Let's use 16 and a different font. OK. And for the line spacing as well, let's use 0 0.8 multiple. And now we can just type in the formula equals lorem parentheses. Let's type in one. Let's hit enter and skadoosh. We get one paragraph of lorem ipsum text. That's beautiful. And next, my friends, let me quickly turn on these slide guides so that we can see where is the center and middle of the slide. This way we can better align all of these guys on the slide. And now let's just quickly create a little button. We can reuse the logo. Let's type in uh, learn more. And now let's add a beautiful vibrant color to this button. So let's jump into the format shape options and let's make sure there's no transparency. Let's pick any color that we wish. Let's use no line and additionally let's add a beautiful blurred shadow let's use the same color that the button is using and we can just add a bit of blurness or blur and of course you can choose any angle that you wish and any distance that you wish and here it is a beautiful third slide my friends so of course we can adjust uh, all of these elements a little bit but let's just keep on going and before we keep on going let me just uh, copy all of these elements because we'll be reusing them on the next slide, okay, let's paste all of these guys over here and let's just make sure that we set the text to black so that we can see the text and for the logo let's use black outline, okay, and for this button let's use white text as well. And now for the slide title let's just type in business model, that is beautiful. Okay my friends, and now over here in the center of the slide let's insert a huge rounded rectangle and we'll fill this rounded rectangle with any photo that we wish, so let's just hit Alt C to open up the stock photos. And let me just type in man coffee and over here we get this beautiful photo of a man holding a coffee cup. We can resize this photo a little bit. Let's make sure that we send it to back. And now let's make sure that we select the photo, hold down the shift key, select the blue shape. Let's go to merge shapes and let's choose intersect. And now we can just paste that blue shadow from the button to this photo. Let's just make sure that this uh, shadow is super blurry, just like that. And now for the photo, let's add a subtle white line of three points. I think this adds a little nice touch to this photo. And now here on the right side of the slide, we can create a couple of KPIs, key performance indicators. And of course, we can resize this text box. Let's make it a bit smaller. And now let me just duplicate this text box one more time. And let's just type in a bit of uh, gray text. Let's just choose a different uh, lighter font. And for the font size, I'm going, going with 16. And just type in anything that you wish, for example, your important KPI. Okay, and now let's just group both of these two text boxes into one single beautiful group and let's make a few more copies so that we have three KPIs over here. We can distribute them vertically so that they have equal gaps and let's line all of these guys to the middle of the slide. We can bring them slightly to the right and this photo to the right as well. And of course, we could customize the text inside of those KPIs, but let's keep on going. Slide number five. And for this one, let's once again use a full screen photo. So let's just search for a photo that has a nice wall, for example, this one. And on this wall, we can do something beautiful. OK, let me just increase the photo inside of the cropping area. And once again, let me copy a couple of elements from previous slides. And let's just create a slide title for this slide. Let's just type in our process. OK, so this is going to be a little infographic consisting of a couple of circles. OK. Let's just make sure that the slide title is nicely sitting in the middle of the slide and now let's just insert a simple circle. 
And we can quickly grab the styling from the logo and apply it to this circle. OK, and now let's just insert an icon. So let's just search for a bulb icon. Let's use this one. That's beautiful. Let's make sure that the icon is white and let's align it together with this circle. OK, and now we can reuse the logo shape. Let's make sure that it is fully rounded. And now let me just select all of these guys and let's bring them a little bit upwards so that we have more space to work with. And let's just type in step one. OK, let's make sure that this shape is a bit wider so that all of the text nicely fits inside. And now let's just select all of these guys and let's just hit Ctrl G to group. And let's make a few more bubbles so that we have four beautiful bubbles in total. And we can select them all and distribute them horizontally so that we have equal horizontal gaps. That's beautiful. OK, my friends, let's make sure that everything is nicely sitting on this beautiful wall. We can bring this slide title a bit upwards or we can just decrease its size so that we have more space. Let's just decrease it to 50 points. That's beautiful. OK, my friends, and now for all of these uh, slides from slide number two to slide number five, let's apply this uncover slide transition. And for the first one, let's use fade. And since we have just a little bit of time left, let's see if we can add a couple of animations. So for this text box, let's add an appear animation. Let's make sure it starts with previous. Let's make sure that it is animated by letter and for the letter animation delay, let's use 0.03. That's beautiful. OK, and for these guys, let's just actually select them all. OK, let's group them into a single group and let's just apply a flying animation and skadoosh, my friends. The time is up. OK, the time is up. 10 minutes on the clock. That's beautiful. Well, that was a bit of stressful and fun at the same time. So here it is, my friends. Five slides made in 10 minutes. Let's check it out. So first of all, we have this gamer slide with an animated 3D model. That's nice. Next, we have a looping full screen video with this animated passage of text and a little portrait photo at the bottom. OK. And after that, we have a beautiful slide with a glass morphic effect. So as you can see on this slide, I haven't managed to add any animations, but the glass morphic effect is looking beautiful. And next, we have this awesome looking business slide with this interesting image placeholder in the middle and a couple of KPIs on the right. And finally, we have this wall with a couple of light bulbs inside. <laughs> so as you can see, I have definitely had too little time to finish this slide, but that's OK. You can always customize those text boxes and insert new icons. OK, my friends, that's all for this video. Five slides in 10 minutes. I don't know if I have spent precisely two minutes for each slide, but definitely 10 minutes for all of these slides. So thank you for watching. Definitely check out the video of Lewis and the video of uh, slide skills. I'll put their links in the video description. And if you'd like to download these slides or any other slides from my tutorials, feel free to visit my Patreon page. Link is in the video description as well. And if you'd like to master PowerPoint animations, then I definitely recommend checking out my PowerPoint animation mastery course. Link is in the video description as well. Okay, my friends, thank you for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.